Hi everyone, I've got a whole load of water bits to try and get fertilizer and water from the borehole behind me here to the vineyard that's 50 meters away. So how the heck are we gonna do that? Well, hopefully in this episode, we're gonna find out. Now, one way I suppose I could do it is to have a huge sort of 1,000 or 2,000 litre container, uh, fill it full of water, add some fertiliser and somehow pump it down to the vineyard. I could do that, but I'm not quite sure whether this way would be even better and certainly a lot cheaper. So this is what I had in mind. All I'm going to be basically doing is to have a Venturi system. What I thought I might do is to give it a go and see if it works. Right, I'm going to opt for 32 mil pipe. That's partly because of the fittings that I've got, but also because of the distance I've got between my borehole and the actual vineyard. I was thinking you can use any size of pipe, to be honest, but I was thinking if I drop down to 25 mil or 20 mil uh, or anything less than that, I might find that I struggle with water pressure. I might still find that I struggle with water pressure, but um, 32 mil pipe gives me at least a fighting chance to get the pressure down to the vineyard. So that's why I'm using 32 pipe. So all I need to do now is just to um, sort of just to test this in principle, really more than anything, is just to chop up some um, pipe so that I can join all these fittings together. And uh, then we'll plumb it in and uh, see if this actually works. Right, I put it together and it looks a little bit like this. I'll put it on the ground so you can have a, a better look at it. But uh, essentially, in fact, actually, if I turn it that way around, you'll be able to see the, the tap as well. So um, that's all I've done. I've just put a little bit of um, 32 mil MDP pipe between all the, uh, the points and uh, we've got a tap in here. So essentially, um, water will come in at one end. I think it's from this end. Uh, with the tap open, it just rushes all the way through and comes out the other end. With this tap closed, it gets diverted up through the venturi and down and then out. And in doing so, it should suck up something in the uh, the pipe here that will lead to in this case a bowl of um, red food coloring so we can see it actually sucking up now one of the reasons why i put it in a, um, a food uh, bowl like that or a, a measuring bowl like that is because i want to see how quickly the um, it, it drags up the the liquid because it will give me an idea of the number of liters per hour it should be able to suck up that liquid and deliver it through the um, through the irrigation line that's the theory so before i can do that though i've just got to make sure that all my plumbing in my pump house uh, just over there just behind me there is all um, watertight and of course knowing my plumbing it won't be so let's just go and have a very quick look is work in progress in here but essentially we've got water coming in from the borehole down there that goes through the little manifold there up into a primary filter there really and then out it comes there into a t-junction i've got it all just rigged up so that it goes outside into our venturi which we'll hook up in a second so again you can see this is a very very temporary uh, thing i've got insulation stuff all over the place which i'm putting into the walls down here and um, that's a blanked off cap because we put more filters after that and a, and a check valve and we can run water either into the house or, or elsewhere. But uh, anyway, I did this yesterday and of course I've got a stupid leak. I don't know if you can see that on screen, but that is far too quick and it's not gonna self seal that one. So I'm gonna have to just uh, undo all this lot again and uh, just see if I can tighten that up to stop the leak. And then we should be ready to test this Venturi out. I think that solved the leaks, so um, yeah, let's crack on with putting this Venturi system on. Okay, right, it's all hooked up now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to switch it on, close the uh, the tap, and see if we're gonna get a vacuum through the venturi here. So if I close this tap, the water's gonna get forced around through the venturi, and I should get a vacuum occurring, and it should then suck up through the end here. And in theory, I suppose if I put my um, finger over the end, I should be able to feel that vacuum. If I have, then there's absolutely no reason why I can't just dunk it in the, the water there and uh, see if it sucks it up and out it goes. Now that will be the real test. So without further ado, I'm gonna switch on the water and see what happens. Okay, I've got lots of water coming through there. So let's uh, see what happens then. I'll close this off. Okay, that's fine. So all that pressure is now going through my Venturi 
and coming out there and I should that's fantastic that's got a real good suction on there but the next step now is to basically see how fast the red liquid gets sucked up through the venturi and out through the output nozzle here and uh, it will give me an idea as to how many liters per hour I can put through it um, and feed the, the vine so I'm going to just get my stopwatch going and see how fast it happens Definitely going down. That was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed that. Now that all the liquid's gone through, I can turn this back and resume the normal flow through. Okay, so I've got the results in and it says that it was taking 45 seconds to do two litres of um, liquid through the Venturi. So that's roughly, roughly about 180 litres per hour. So I have to sort of measure it out. I can make the, um, the fertiliser as concentrated as I like really um, because it's only going to have water going down the pipes um, afterwards. But in theory I can measure out uh, some fertiliser, add it to say 100 litres of water, send that through to um, a section of the vineyard and I know it's going to take about, about 40 minutes, something like that. Oh, I've got a delivery. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Quick Amazon delivery. <laughs> anyway, back to more important things. Um, yeah, if I'm going to put 100 litres down the line, it's going to take round about 40 minutes, something like that, um, there or thereabouts. I know sort of summarising that a little bit too, uh, too much without a calculator. But um, yeah, that's probably what I'm working on. Now, I know I've got lots of variables before I could conclude that that's going to be the rate. First of all, I've got a run of about... Um, well, probably about 50 to 60 metres uh, to the end of the line. Um, so that's going to reduce my water pressure somewhat. Um, I am using 32 mil pipe, so that should be, you know, what's that, an inch and a quarter, something like that. So that should uh, alleviate it a little bit. I'm also thinking, you know, pressure might uh, drop, might change a little bit, so that will... That might do something to the uh, the rate of flow through the system and I'm also going to have a whole load of um, irrigation pipe which I'm not quite sure how that's going to affect the uh, the pressure in the system either but anyway first signs are that it's quite encouraging and I've got a crazy little dog that's after me as well right okay all things are okay so far but there's one thing which I may have to change and I thought I'd only be open with you now uh, rather than uh, sort of say this is the perfect system or rest of it and that's the Venturi itself I've actually got a Venturi that I'm not sure whether it's the right size to be honest but we'll just see how it goes this one here has got a 3 8 fitting at either end and what I thought I ordered was the one inch version uh, one inch version would have been better for the uh, the size of pipe work that I'm using but since the 3 8 one uh, sorry three quarter inch one arrived I thought well I might as well use it uh, see what it's like and see if it works on the face of it it looks like it does work obviously this is a, a, a quite a big restriction uh, which is how venturis work anyway but it's quite a big restriction which means that the water flow through and out through the outlet pipe when it's sucking up the um, say fertilizer is going to be relatively slow a bigger venturi you'd have more of a flow through so that might be um, the thing to to do it'll be quite easy to swap over because these are just sort of um, plastic fittings and you can cut pipe to length uh, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem but I'm just going to see how it goes with this particular one but bear in mind that um, this venturi might be a little bit undersized so far so good but we'll just have to see so what I've got to do now is uh, I've got the Venturi system um, all set up in this format all I've got to really do I think is to somehow mount it inside my uh, the sort of I call it the pump house you know the, the wooden shed behind me which houses the borehole tank and all that kind of stuff if I can house it inside there somehow then I should be able to set up a, a hundred litre tank something like that which isn't dissimilar to the uh, water butt um, that you can see just on the side of the shed behind me that sort of thing if I can have a hundred litres of fertiliser uh, ready to send down the the pipes then then, um, that should be really good and I'm thinking well if I can divide the vineyard up into say four sections that'll be roughly seven eight 
eight rows per section and I can feed and water eight rows at a time. I think if I try and do all 33 rows at a time um, then I think the water flow might struggle a little bit to get uh, through all the drippers on a thousand vines or a thousand drippers. So I'm going to divvy it up and also uh, by divvying it up into uh, four sections I can perhaps sort of say well you know the you know one section or one um, section of the vineyard needs a little bit more nitrogen for example or a little bit more um, iron or whatever so I was thinking maybe I can um, custom tailor make the uh, the irrigation system for the vineyard so that's what I was thinking of doing I don't know whether that's quite the best way but you know if you've got any ideas then just definitely put it in the comments um, below and I'll um, read those avidly as it were so yeah that would be fantastic so I'm going to crack on with putting this Venturi system in my little barn behind me and see if I can get that a little bit more organized. Just a quick thing whilst we're doing this video, if you're enjoying this and getting some use out of it, feel free to go over to our Patreon site. I'll put the link in the description below. There's a loads more videos, loads more information there. And for just $3 an episode or per month or whatever you want, then you get access to all those extra videos and information. And it's a bit more of a community feel about it. So, um, you know, you can chat, you can message me, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll see you over there. Right, back to this video. We're going to get the water tested by a water testing laboratory so that um, we know exactly what contaminants are in the water. But I'm thinking, but no, I'm outside it's a bit cooler out here. Um, what I am thinking is that because the water is coming from about 200 feet under the ground, it's had so much filtration through filtering all that sort of bedrock and marl that it's probably pretty good water to start with. It certainly tastes okay, not that, you know, I'm a great expert on taste for water purposes, but it seems to be okay superficially. So I'm hoping that so long as it's not too high in nitrates, which it shouldn't be because there's actually a ban on nitrates in this area, and it's not too high in uh, bacteria, which we can do something about because we can run UV filters on it and it's not too high in any other contaminants we should be okay with fairly minimal filtration but you know that's what we're going to have to get tested so i'm going to get on now with putting my new venturi system which i'm really pleased i found works properly into the uh, the, the the pump house behind me here and then hopefully subject to another video i'm going to see if i can actually finally get the run down to the vineyard and start putting in some irrigation pipes down the rows and start feeding those vines. The one blessing that we've got with the British weather at the moment is that it's been so rainy over the last few months that we've not actually needed to irrigate it. Uh, we probably still need to fertilize it uh, and through different parts of the year we'll still need to put uh, nitrogen into the ground and you know other chemicals but at the moment water is not so much of a problem because it's just been such a wet summer that uh, we can do away with um, irrigating or worrying too much about that so uh, that's one blessing of having a, a really damp British climate at the moment. Okay, that's probably it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, hit that subscribe button and the like thing. And that always really helps the channel out. So I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.